Brazilian Armed Forces. The Brazilian Armed Forces is the unified military organization comprising the Brazilian Army, including the Brazilian Army Aviation, the Brazilian Navy, including the Brazilian Marine Corps and Brazilian Naval Aviation, and the Brazilian Air Force. Brazil's armed forces are the second largest in the Americas, after the United States, and the largest in Latin America by the level of military equipment, with 318,480 active duty troops and officers. With no serious external or internal threats, the armed forces are searching for a new role. They are expanding their presence in the Amazon under the Northern Corridor, Calha Norte, program. In 1994, Brazilian troops joined the United Nations, UN, peacekeeping forces in five countries. Brazilian soldiers have been in Haiti since 2004, leading the United Nations Stabilization Mission, MINISTA. The Brazilian military, especially the army, has become more involved in civic action programs, education, health care, and constructing roads, bridges, and railroads across the nation. Although the 1988 Constitution preserves the external and internal roles of the armed forces, it places the military under presidential authority. Thus, the new charter changed the manner in which the military could exercise its moderating power. The armed forces of Brazil are divided into three branches. The military police, state police, alongside the military firefighters corps are described as an auxiliary and reserve force of the army. All military branches are part of the Ministry of Defense. The Brazilian Navy which is the oldest of the Brazilian armed forces, includes the Brazilian Marine Corps and the Brazilian Naval Aviation. 19 to 45 years of age for compulsory military service, conscript service obligation, 9 to 12 months, 17 to 45 years of age for voluntary service. An increasing percentage of the ranks are long service volunteer professionals. Women were allowed to serve in the armed forces beginning in the early 1980s when the Brazilian Army became the first army in South America to accept women into career ranks. Women serve in Navy and Air Force only in Women's Reserve Corps. South America is a relatively peaceful continent in which wars are a rare event, as a result, Brazil hasn't had its territory invaded since year 1865 during the Paraguayan War. Additionally, Brazil has no contested territorial disputes with any of its neighbors and neither does it have rivalries, like Chile and Bolivia have with each other. However, Brazil is the only country besides China and Russia that has land borders with 10 or more nations. Moreover, Brazil has of land borders and of coastline to be patrolled and defended. Overall, the armed forces have to defend 8.5 million kilometer, around 3.2 million square mile, of land and patrol 4.4 million kilometer, around 1.7 million square mile, of territorial waters, or Blue Amazon, as the Brazilian Navy calls them. To achieve this mission, significant manpower and funding is required. Since 1648 the Brazilian armed forces have been relied upon to fight in defense of Brazilian sovereignty and to suppress civil rebellions. The Brazilian military has also four times intervened militarily to overthrow the Brazilian government. The Brazilian armed forces were subordinated to the emperor, its commander-in-chief. He was aided by the ministers of war and navy in regard to matters concerning the army and the armada, respectively. Traditionally, the ministers of war and navy were civilians but there were some exceptions. The model chosen was the British parliamentary or Anglo-American system, in which the country's armed forces observed unrestricted obedience to the civilian government while maintaining distance from political decisions and decisions referring to borders security. The military personnel were allowed to run and serve in political offices while staying on active duty. However, they did not represent the army or the armada but instead the population of the city or province were elected. Dom Pedro I chose nine military personnel as senators and five, out of fourteen, to the state council. During the regency, two were chosen to the senate and none to the state council as there was no council at the time. Dom Pedro II chose four military personnel to become senators during the 1840s, two in the 1850s and three until the end of his reign. He also chose seven military personnel to be state councillors during the 1840s and 1850s and three after that. It has built a tradition of participating in UN peacekeeping missions such as in Haiti and East Timor. Below a list of some of the historical events in which the Brazilian armed forces took part. Brazilian Expeditionary Force, initially composed of an infantry division, eventually covered all Brazilian military forces who participated in the conflict, 
including the Brazilian Air Force who did a remarkable job in the last nine months of war with 445 missions executed. Offensive, 2546, defensive, 4. Although no military coups occurred during the 67 years of the Brazilian Empire, the Republican period experienced four military coups d'état in the 75 years between 1889 and 1964. Today, few countries do not bring their armed forces under one defense agency, subordinate to the head of the executive. In Brazil, until 1999, the three armed forces remained in independent ministries. However, the quarrel over the creation of a single Ministry of Defense, integrating the Navy, the Army and the Aeronautics is old. The 1946 Constitution already cited the creation of just one ministry, that resulted in the institution of the EMFA, at the time called General Staff. Ex-President of the Republic Costello Branco, defended the thesis of the creation of a Ministry of the Defense. It signed Decree 200, of February 25, 1967, that the Ministry of the Armed Forces foresaw the promotion of studies to elaborate the law project creating. However, the proposal was abandoned. During the Constitutional Conventional of 1988, the subject came back to the quarrel and one more time it was filed out finally in 1992, President Fernando Henrique Cardoso, then candidate to the presidency, declared that in its plan of government the quarrel for creation of Ministry of Defense was foreseen. The President of the Republic still intended to create a ministry in his first term. The idea was to optimize the system of national defense, to legalize one politics of sustainable defense and to integrate the three forces, rationalizing their activities. But only on June 10, 1999, the Ministry of the Defense was officially created, the General Staff of the Armed Forces abolished and the Aeronautics, Army, and Navy ministries had been transformed into service commands. During the years of 1995 96, the MFA, responsible for the studies on the Ministry of Defense, evidenced that, amongst 179 countries, only 23 did not have integrated armed forces. Of these 23, only three, amongst them Brazil, had dimensions politics to justify its creation, as for example, territorial extension and trained and structuralized armed forces. The Ministries of Defense of Germany, Argentina, Chile, Spain, USA, France, the United Kingdom, Italy and Portugal had been chosen for deepened analysis because they had some type of identification with Brazil, as territorial extension, population, cash of the armed forces, amongst others. To give continuity to the creation studies, President Fernando Henrique created the interministerial work group that defined the lines of direction for implantation of the Ministry of Defense. Re-elected, he nominated Senator Elcio Alvarez, Extraordinary Minister of the Defense, on January 1, 1999. The former senator was the responsible one for the implementation of the agency. The three services are separate from each other, except in three areas: the Armed Forces General Staff, Estado Mayor das Forças Armadas MFA. The National Defense Council, Conselho de Defesa Nacional CDN, and the Armed Forces High Command, Alto Comando das Forças Armadas ICFA. The MFA, which is involved in planning and coordination, interprets inter-service views about policy and comes the closest to functioning as a Ministry of Defense. It is headed by a four-star general, and the chair rotates among the services. The ICFA is involved with more immediate, day-to-day -day problems. It is composed of the ministers of the three services their chiefs of staff, and the MFA chief. According to Article 91 of the Constitution, the CDN is the consultative body of the President of the Republic in matters related to national sovereignty and the defense of the democratic state. The members of the CDN are the President, the Vice President, the President of the Chamber of Deputies, the President of the Senate, the Minister of Justice, Military Ministers, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, and the Minister of Planning. The CDN has authority to express an opinion in instances of declaration of war and the celebration of peace and to express an opinion on the decreeing of a state of the emergency, state of siege, or federal intervention. In addition, the CDN is authorized to propose the criteria and conditions for the use of Aries Tat are vital to the security of the national territory and express an opinion on their continued use, especially in the strip along the borders, and on matters related to the conservation and exploitation of natural resources of any kind. The CDN also may study, propose, and monitor the progress of initiatives necessary to guarantee national independence and the defense of the democratic state. The highest level consultative body available to the President is the Council of the Republic, Conselho de República. 
This body does not include any military minister or officer, although the president may call on a military minister to participate if the matter is related to their respective ministry's agenda. According to Article 89 of the Constitution, the Council of the Republic has authority to make declarations of federal intervention, a state of emergency, and a state of siege, all security-related issues. Joint Staff of the Armed Forces is an agency of the Ministry of Defense of Brazil, which centralizes the coordination of command of the Armed Forces, Army, Navy, and Air Force. It was created by Complementary Law No. 136 of August 25, 2010, and has an Ordinance No. 1429 its operating guidelines. Advising the Minister of Defense in the upper direction of the Armed Forces, aiming the organization, preparation and employment, in order to fulfill its constitutional mission and its subsidiaries' assignments, with the goal strategic planning and the joint use of the military services. It is up to JASF plan together an integrated employment of staff of the Navy, Army, and Air Force, optimizing the use of the military and logistical support and defense of the country and in peacekeeping, humanitarian and rescue operations, border security, and civil defense actions. The body has its powers and duties according to the regimental structure approved by Decree 7.9744, April 1, 2013. Since its inception, the JASF has worked with the Central Administration of the Ministry of Defense, on the Esplanade of Ministries in Brasilia, DF. The head of the JASF is private of a general officer of the last post, active or reserve, designated by the Ministry of Defense and appointed by the President. Their hierarchical level is the same of the military commanders of the Navy. Army, and Air Force. Under the coordination of the Joint Armed Forces also operates the Committee of Chiefs of Staffs of the Military Services. The current head of JASP is Admiral of Fleet Ademir Sobrinho. As in most South American nations, the Brazilian Army, has been the most influential of the services because of its size, deployment, and historical development. Not only did senior Army generals occupy the presidency from 1964 until 1985, but most of the officers who held cabinet posts during that time were from the Army. In 1997 the Army totaled 200,000 members. Brazil's Army has strict up or out retirement rules, which were developed in the mid-1960s by President Costello Branco. The internal command structure determines all promotions through the rank of colonel. The president is involved in the promotions to general and chooses one candidate from a list of three names presented to him by the high command. Once passed over, the colonel must retire. All colonels must retire at age 59, and all four star generals must retire at age 66, or after 12 years as general. Despite the up or out system, under President Jose Sarney, the army became top heavy as generals began to occupy many positions that previously had been reserved for colonels. In 1991, there were 15 four star, 43 star, and 110 two star generals. The figure for four-star generals did not include four who were ministers in the Superior Military Court, Superior Tribunal Militar STM. Thus, in the mid-1990s the Army sought to reduce the number of active duty generals. Considering the short conscript tour, usually 9 to 10 months, the Army has a high number of conscripts, 125,000. Because of the need for literate and skilled young men to handle modern weapons, the Army has served as a training ground for a large reserve force. Its highly professional officer corps serves as a nucleus around which the trained service would be mobilized if required. The non commissioned officer, NCO, corps is not well developed. NCOs have virtually no autonomy or authority. Emphasis on training and professional development is for officers only. The NCOs account for slightly more than one-third of the total army strength. About half of the NCOs are sergeants, who serve as command links between officers and ranks. Some also serve as middle-level technicians. In the early 1990s, the army began to undergo a generational change. The generals of the early 1990s had been junior officers in the early 1960s and had witnessed the military coup in 1964. Their worldview was shaped and influenced by the anti-communism of that time. These generals were being replaced by colonels who had entered the army in the early 1970s and whose view of the world had been shaped less by ideology and more by pragmatism. The United States, particularly through its counterinsurgency doctrines of the early 1960s, was more influential with the older group of officers. The Army General Staff, Estado Mayor do Exército M, directs training and operations. 
The M has expanded from four sections in 1968 to 15 sections in 1994. It is headed by the M chief, except in the event of a war. From 1946 through 1985, the army was divided into four numbered armies. The first army was centered in Rio de Janeiro, the second army in Sao Paulo, the third army in Porto Alegre, and the fourth army in Recife. Historically, the first army was the most politically significant because of Rio de Janeiro's position as the nation's capital through the 1950s. The third army was also important because of its shared border with Argentina, Brazil's traditional rival in Latin America, and Uruguay. In 1964, for example, close to two-thirds of the Brazilian troops were in the third army, and somewhat fewer than one-third were in the first army. The rest were sprinkled throughout the second and fourth armies. The Planalto Military Command, Comando Militar do Planalto CMP, comprising the Federal District and Goiás State, and the Amazon Military Command, Comando Militar da Amazonia CMA, supplemented the four armies. On January 1, 1986, the army was restructured from four numbered armies and two military commands into seven military commands. The major addition was the Western Military Command. Comando Militar do Oeste CMO, whose territory encompasses the states of Mato Grosso and Mato Grosso do Sul, previously under the Second Army Territory, and Rondonia, previously under the CMA. Each of the seven military commands has its headquarters in a major city, Eastern Military Command, Comando Militar do Leste CML, Rio de Janeiro, Southeastern Military Command, Comando Militar do Sud CMSE, Sao Paulo, Southern Military Command, Comando Militar do Sul CMS, Porto Alegre, Northeastern Military Command, Comando Militar do Nordeste CMN, Recife, CMO, Campo Grande, CMP, Brasilia, and CMA, Manaus. The CMP and CMO are led by Major Generals, 3 Star, the other 5 are headed by Full Generals 4 Star. The Army is divided further into 11 military regions. The CMSE is made up of only one state, Sao Paulo and is in charge of protecting the industrial base of the country. The changes were instituted as part of a modernization campaign to make the army better prepared for rapid mobilization. The reorganization reflected Brazil's geopolitical drive to occupy the frontier and the growing importance of Brasilia, the Amazon, and western Brazil. In 1997 there were major units around Brasilia, four jungle brigades, and five jungle battalions extending from Amapá to Mato Grosso do Sul. A tour with jungle units is a coveted assignment and is considered career enhancing. The move to occupy the Amazon and the short term political implications of the Army's reorganization should not be overstated. The Army's geographic organization and distribution have continued to reflect a concern with internal rather than external defense. In what is perhaps an anachronism, the CML in Rio de Janeiro continues to have some of the best troop units and the most modern equipment. Command of the CML is still a coveted assignment, and the military village, Vila Militar, Rio de Janeiro's garrison or military community, is still considered one of the most important centers of military influence in the entire country. Principal army schools are located there or nearby. The CML is also important in countering the trafficking of drugs and armaments. In a significant political development, the army established a formal high command in 1964. Before that time, a clique of generals residing in Rio de Janeiro controlled major decisions of the army. Throughout the authoritarian period, tensions often existed between the high command and the five generals who served as president. This tension was such that President Geisel dismissed Minister of Army Silvio Froda in 1977. Since the January 1986 restructuring, the high command has been composed of the seven regional commanders, the chief of staff, and the minister of army. The high command meets to discuss all issues, including those of a political nature, and is responsible for drawing up the list of generals from which the president chooses those who will be promoted to four stars. The Navy traces its heritage to Admiral Cochrane's mercenary fleet and to the tiny Portuguese ships and crews that protected the earliest coastal colonias from seaborne marauders. The Navy is the most aristocratic and conservative of the services and draws a larger share of its officers from the upper middle class and upper class. Although it is involved in brown water, riverine and coastal, operations, the Navy's primary goal has been to become an effective blue water Navy, able to project power on the high seas. Given its blue water bias, the Navy is even less inclined to become involved in counter-drug operations than the Army or Air Force. 
units. The total naval strength of 64,700 in 1997 included naval aviation with 1,300 members, the Marines Corpo de Fusi Lyros Nives CFN with 14,600 members, and only 2,000 conscripts. Naval operations are directed from the Ministry of Navy in Brasilia through the Navy General Staff, Estado Mayor de Armada EMA, six naval districts, five oceanic and one riverine, and two naval commands Brasilia Naval Command, Comando Naval de Brasilia CNB, and Manaus Naval Command, Comando Naval de Manaus CNM. The first naval district is located at the country's main naval base in Rio de Janeiro, the second naval district is in Salvador. The 3rd Naval District is located in Natal, the 4th Naval District is located in Belém, and the 5th Naval District is located in Porto Alegre. The 6th Riverine District has its headquarters in Late Ario, near Corumba on the Paraguay River. Until the 1980s, the flagship of the ocean going Navy was the aircraft carrier Minas Gerais, the ex British HMS Vengeance, which has been in service since 1945. Purchased from Britain in 1956, the Minas Gerais was reconstructed in the Netherlands in 1960 and refitted extensively in Brazil in the late 1970s, and again in 1993. In 1994 Mario Cesar Flores, a former Minister of Navy, declared in an interview that the Navy would be hard-pressed to defend Minas Gerais in a conflict. While the Minas Gerais was not considered likely to be replaced until the next century, it was nonetheless decommissioned in 2001 following the purchase of the French aircraft carrier Foch. The Foch upon entering service with the Brazilian Navy, was renamed the Sao Paulo. It operates a four coup. As of July 2002, the fate of the Minas Gerais was still unknown, with China having reportedly made a surprise bid for its purchase. The Navy's priority re-equipment plans for the 1990s included the receipt of new Inhama class corvettes, the construction of Tupi class submarines, the refurbishing of the Niteroi class frigates, the acquisition of nine new Super Lynx and up to six former United States Navy Sikorsky SH-3G-HC King helicopters, the construction of the conventional SNAC-1 submarine prototype, and the development of nuclear propulsion technology. In addition, the Navy contracted in late 1994 to acquire four Type 22 British Royal Navy frigates and three river-class minesweepers for delivery in the 1995-97 period. After years of intense rivalry between the Navy and the Air Force for the control of naval aviation, President Costello Broncu decreed in 1965 that only the Air Force would be allowed to operate fixed-wing aircraft and that the Navy would be responsible for helicopters. According to many critics, such an unusual division of labor caused serious command and control problems. The complement of aircraft carried by Minas Gerais included at 1.6 Grumman and S2E anti-submarine planes, in addition to several SH-3DC King helicopters and Aerospatial Super Puma and HB-350 Kilo helicopters. In accordance with the costello Branco compromise, the S2E aircraft were flown by Air Force pilots and the helicopters by Navy pilots. A crew of the Minas Gerais with full air complement consisted of 1,300 officers and enlisted personnel. As of late 2002, the Navy had reportedly become responsible for flying all aircraft with the rivalry having subsided between the two branches of the armed forces. The Brazilian Air Force, also known as FAB, or, is the two degrees largest air force in America, behind only USA, and has around 70,000 active personnel. The FAB is subdivided into four operational commands. IFA, I-Forsa Aérea, Advanced Fixed and Rotary Wings Instruction, 2 FA. 2 Forsa Aérea Maritime Patrol, SAR, Helicopters Transport Roles and Navy Support, 3 FA, 3 Forsa Aérea Fighter Command, it has all first-line combat assets under its control, fighter, attack and reconnaissance aircraft, 4 FA, 4 Forsa Aérea, responsible for transport missions. The Aeronautic Ministry was created on January 20, 1941 and absorbed the former Army and Navy aviation under its command. In 1944 the Brazilian Air Force joined Allied forces in Italy and operated there for about seven months. This was the fab baptism and a real conflict. In 1999 after a creation of the Ministry of Defense, MOD, the Aeronautic Ministry changed its designation to Aeronautic Command, but no big changes happened until the Air Force structure, it kept almost the same organization it had before. The biggest, and most important, program of the FAB in the last years is the SIPAM, Sistema de Protesau de Amazonia, Amazonian Protection System, the operational part of the SIPAM is known by SHIVAM, Sistema de Vigilancia de Amazonia, 
Amazon Vigilance System. The Shivam is a huge network of radars, sensors and personnel integrated to guard and protect the Amazon rainforest and its resources. In 2002 the Aimbrier R99A ANC equipped with the Ericsson Air Airborne Radar and the R99B SR, Electronic Intelligence Gathering Version, entered service. The R99 fleet is one of the principal components of the system. The aircraft are based at Anopolis Ave near Brasilia and fly 24 hours a day over the Amazonian region. The backbone of the Brazilian combat aviation made up of three types, the Northrop F5E-F, the Aimbrier-Air Mackey A1A-B, AMX, and the Aimbrier AT29 Super Tucano. The F5s are under a modernization program called F5BR program, the aircraft official designation is F5M. The upgrade is being carried out by Embraer on Elbit, it includes a new avionics suite, a full glass cockpit with three MFDs, HOTA's configuration and a new multi-mode radar, the Italian Grifo F. The first F5N was handed over on September 21, 2005, and it is scheduled at a rate of two aircraft being delivered each month from that date onwards. The A1s are the main attack-slash-bomber aircraft of the FAB. There are three squadrons operating the A1, one of them equipped with the RA-1 variant having our reconnaissance function as its primary role, but retaining all attack capabilities of the A1. The RA-1s are equipped with Raphael's Recce Light Reconnaissance System. Like the F-5, the A-1 is under a MLU, Midlife Upgrade, program as well, this upgrade giving a high commonality between the avionics of the A-1M, ML Warecraft designation, the F-5M and the newly introduced Aimbrier AT-29. With the Mirage 3 withdrawn, the air defense of Brasilia and region is done temporarily by a mix of F-5s from 1st Gavin 1ST-14TH Gavin till 10 Mirage 2000 Xen 2 Mirage 2000 be bought from French Air Force surplus stocks arrive at Anopolis. The Mirage 2000s are meant to be in service until at least 2015, when the Brazilian Air Force foresee the, postponed, FX centering in service. To replace the Aimbrier P-95 Bandirala in the maritime patrol duties, 12 Lockheed P-3A Ryans have been bought from U.S. Navy surplus and 8, with an option for a ninth, of them are being upgraded by Eads Casa in Spain, the remainder are to be used as spare parts source. On the same day of contract signature for the P-3BR work, April 29, 2005, Eads Casa was also awarded a contract to supply 12 C 295M medium transport aircraft. Deliveries started in 2006 with the first aircraft arriving in October 2006. The first three C 295s, designated C 105A Amazonas in Brazilian service, were commissioned into service in a formal ceremony at Base Aérea de Manaus on March 31, 2007. The C-105 replaces the FAB C-115 Buffalo Fleet and will supplement the C-130 Hercules. The main heavy transport aircraft is the Lockheed C-130H Hercules and it will not change soon. The Hercs are receiving major upgrades, receiving a full glass cockpit besides many other modifications. The first upgraded C-130 entering operational service recently. There are four Boeing KC-137 used as transport and tankers roles. In 2005 FAB received one Airbus ACJ, callsign Air Force One and dubbed as Santos Dumont. The ACJ is now the main presidential transport and it is assisted by two Boeing 737-201 AS332 Super Puma, with the KC-137 still serving as presidential transport in case of necessity. The basic pilot training is concentrated in Ferasa Nunga, AFA, Academia de Forza Aérea and uses the Neva T-25 and the well-known Embraer T-27 Tucano for basic instruction. Advanced training is done at Natal Ab in the AT-29 Super Tucano, which replaced the Embraer AT-26 Savant in the conversion training course. Brazil has the need to patrol its of land borders. Since the 1990s Brazil has been relocating its forces in accordance to this national security requirement. Between 1992 and 2008, the first, 2nd and 16th Jungle Infantry Brigades, the 3rd Infantry Battalion, the 19th Logistics Battalion, and the 22nd Army Police Platoon were transferred by the Army from the states of Rio de Janeiro and Rio Grande do Sul to the Amazon region in accordance with the friendship policy with Argentina. After those redeployments the number of Army troops in that region rose to 25,000. Also relocated from the state of Rio de Janeiro were the 1st and 3rd Combat Pars Regiment, now stationed in the city of Santa Maria, in the state of Rio Grande do Sul.
possible. However, despite those efforts, the presence of the armed forces on the border regions of the Brazilian Amazon continues to be sparse and disperse, given the fact that the army has just 28 border detachments in that area, a total of 1,600 soldiers, or one man for every of borders. More redeployments are expected since the states of Rio de Janeiro. Minas Gerais and Espirito Santo still concentrate over 49,000 soldiers. In May 2008, the Navy announced new plans to reposition its forces throughout Brazil. The Brazilian Amazon sustains about 40% of the world's remaining tropical rainforests and plays vital roles in maintaining biodiversity, regional hydrology and climate, and terrestrial carbon storage. Recent studies suggest that deforestation rates in the Brazilian Amazon could increase sharply in the future as a result of over 40 billion US dollars in planned investments in highway paving and major new infrastructure projects in the region. These studies have been challenged by several Brazilian ministries, which assert that recent improvements in environmental laws, enforcement and public attitudes have fundamentally reduced the threat posed to forests by such projects. Among tropical nations, Brazil probably has the world's best monitoring of deforestation activity. Estimates are produced by Brazil's National Institute for Space Research, INPE, for the entire Brazilian legal Amazon by visually interpreting satellite imagery from the Landsat thematic mapper. The relevance of the CBERS program does not limit itself only to applications of the satellite generated images. The program also takes part in the Space Activities National Program, PNAE which objective is to lead the country toward the autonomy of this technology, vital in a path to sustainable development. The NPA participation in this complex project accelerates the capability of the country in important space technologies, besides contributing to increase and modernize the national industry in the space sector and the infrastructure, laboratories and centers, dedicated to space projects. There has been participation of the national industry in all satellite subsystems on charge of Brazil. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.